look for the polar I don't have time to wash my hair. It'll take it a half hour to dry. I promise I'll unplug him this time, and Carol, let me know the minute he gets here. The minute who gets here? Who's she talking about? Carol, do you mind? You're ruining my concentration. Chris, who's coming over? Larry! Larry! Offer. Roger, Larry's coming over. Roger! It was what? going right in! Larry is coming over! Who's Larry? Larry's a guy she's been dating for over a month now. It's serious. I think she's really in love with him. He, he's perfect for her. He's a medical student. Big deal. If you keep this up, you're going to be his first patient. Now, give me that. Roger, now, come on. I want you to behave yourself because this is important. So is my putting. Now. Roger, we are going to set a good example. Of what? Of how happy two married people can be. I am not happy about her marrying some medical student. He'll move in with us. Oh, he's going to intern in Baltimore. You mean that maybe he'll take her with him? Well, if they get married. What are we standing around like this for? The place is a mess. Clean it up. Larry's coming over. <laughs> Oh, that must be good. <laughs> oh. Hi, I'm Larry. Oh, hi, Larry. Oh, it's Larry. Oh, oh. <laughs> hi, I'm Carol. I'm Christine's sister, hi. and this is my husband, Roger Larry. Nice to meet you. <laughs> wow, are we happy? <laughs> <laughs> Will we get a dance? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Larry's a medical student. Hey, that's great. Guess you're going to be a doctor, huh? Yeah, that's very perceptive. Yeah. <laughs> very perceptive. Man happy. Yes, oh, of course Roger's happy. Every man who marries into my family is a happy person. <laughs> oh. Uh, let's sit down. Do I have a choice? <laughs> She keeps just rolling on the floor all the time. <laughs> Do you make a great team? <laughs> Hi, Larry. Hi, honey. Honey, he called her honey. Mm -hmm. The kissing, the kissing. I can, I can see that. Girl. Well, don't look. It's not nice. <laughs> Isn't that cute? He kissed her in her own living room. What's so cute? We did it once. Are well, you ready? Just a minute. Okay. He is adorable. I just think I couldn't have picked him out better myself. Oh, the two of you. Oh, honey, I wish you all the happiness and success in the world. Carol, will you please stop rushing things? We have not even discussed marriage. <laughs> oh, not discussed marriage, right? Oh, Christy, Larry, they're eloping. Hey, you guys, oh, hey. No, they're not eloping. No, we're just going away for the weekend. They're not eloping. They're just going away. <laughs> to a little cabin up in Willow Lake. Oh, nice. Uh, would you like a drink first? Well, maybe a cook, and we're sort of anxious to get up to the cabin. I'll bet. Uh, uh, Roger, would you help me in the kitchen? Oh, with what? The kitchen. The kitchen. No, you two stay here. Don't, don't leave. We'll be... Would you get in? Did you hear that? Did you hear what they're planning to do? Did you hear it? Yes. Did got, you? Yes, I, yes, I did. He's got a cabin by a lake. I don't want to hear it. Oh, she thinks I'm going to let her go off on a wild weekend with that quack. Oh, honey, it could be a lot worse. How? Could be my sister. Oh, that's good. That's right. That's right. But she's just a baby. Oh, silly. She's not a baby. She is too. Oh, Carol, come on now. Face it. She's grown up. No. Come on, honey. Times have changed. No. It's not like when you were young. <laughs> I mean, well, honey, if you fight her on this thing, chances are she'll never even talk to you again. I can't do that. Honey, you just have to try to live with it. All right, I'll live with it for five minutes. Then what? I'm going to kill myself. I'm going to try to accept it. You know, your sister's really, really nice, but she's, she's very high strung. I'm so embarrassed, Larry. She's never acted so hysterical. Maybe we ought to wait outside, all right? My parents are going to come by and pick us up. Let's wait out there. Your parents? That's it? She thinks we're going up to that cabin alone. Oh, uh, no. We better tell her, all right? She might come out with a shotgun or something then. No, I tell you what, let's just let them think what they want to think. Let's have a little fun with them. All right. Chrissy? Please. All right. Remember, darling, just, just try to accept the situation. Will it... The weekend's starting! Well, uh, 
I guess we're going to be off now to our little uh, love nest in the mountain cabin uh, for our wild weekend. Uh, did you bring your bathing suit? No. You're not going swimming? I didn't say that, Carol. <laughs> say something! Wow, are you going to be happy? You too. I'm as broad mind I'm as uh, broad minded as the next person, but uh, it's a little frightening, you know, two young kids like that up there all alone. Oh, it's not what you think it is. No, no. we're going with another couple. It's a group. I've heard about that. <laughs> it's a group. Can you imagine the four of them up there in that sordid little cabin? I can imagine five. <laughs> place with Dr. Strangelove. Forget it. Well, that must be the other couple. Freeze! I'll handle this. Hello. Hello. You sickies. <laughs> Get in here before the neighbors see. I'm so embarrassed I could die. Look how old you are. I beg your pardon. <laughs> Carol, I'd like you to meet my father. Oh, that's even worse. <laughs> Does your wife know what you're doing? And this is my mother. Do you... What? The other couple. We better go, all right? I'll explain everything outside. <laughs> Thank you for having so much faith in me, Carol. Carol, you sure saved Chrissy from a fate worse than death. <laughs> Boy, they're gonna have some wild weekend. Roger. What? It's going to be a lot wilder than yours. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>